Hey yo, it's your boy Aze back at the with a brand new video. Hey, I'm so excited for this video, I'm telling you. Like, like this video is actually, you know, like it's a different one, it's a different one. Today, what we're trying to do today, we actually not going to react to any video. But I want I wanna give you guys a chance to actually know me a little bit, because I I think like a few few months ago I put on my Instagram what type of question I can answer on my YouTube channel. And it's surprisingly people actually come up with it. Interesting questions, you know, like it, it really touched me. Like, I mean, a lot that people actually did this, you know what I mean? Like, they actually reply and then things like that. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it's just, it was all so speechless, you know what I mean? So, like, it really touched me. So, I know this channel, you know, we're not big enough. That's the reason why I took a, you know, matter to actually go in and do it myself and then, you know, throw that out, throw that out there and then ask you guys those questions and then surprisingly it pulled through like I, I don't know I don't know man I don't know how that happened but it was really amazing so what I'm going to do is uh, I will be reading the questions that uh, people are actually asking and then I will um, answer those questions right here so so let's check let's check uh, um, the first question the first person, he was like, uh, what memory do you just keep going back to? Hmm. What memory do I just keep going back to? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have, I have like a so much memory. I would say that when I first, um, you know, make a decision to actually, because I, I remember when I was playing soccer, um, when I was a, uh, you know, later I was I was really I was really bad. You know what I mean? Like every single game, I will see like an outside and just watch people play like the real game. And I was like, I gotta I gotta do something about this. You know what I mean? I gotta get back there, work hard, and then get there. So yeah, and then I put it on myself like you know, even though like after soccer I go straight to the gym, work out, and then come home watch videos like strategy, technique, and apply it, and then. It just keep getting better and better and better and then yeah like um and then all of a sudden yeah like w when i moved here uh i i don't know how i did it but it was crazy that I actually you know like it, it did pay it up you know what i mean like it paid off a uh, big time and i was a uh, i was a bit i was playing a big part of my team this is like one of my college team um my freshman year wearing his jersey also like uh, it was uh, it was incredible, you know. What I mean, as a fresh mayor, and you are the starter of the every single game. It's just a, it's just a mind blowing. And then I was actually the first pick in this you know, when they were doing trial. So uh, those moments, uh, yeah, like it just uh, keep hitting me like how far I've come, you know, when it comes to soccer wise. And yeah, now I'm playing some my pro, which is also like you know big thing for me. So it's just uh, that you know. That feeling is it's, it's really it's really crazy, you know, like how how much if you put your money to it, it will happen. Like it's a, it's a it's a big thing, man. It's a big thing. So yeah, uh, let's check uh, the second question. Um, <clears throat> well, the second question is uh, what is the most unusual fear you have? The most unusual fear that I have is a. Uh, I'll say if someone, if someone betrayed me, like you know, like it's a it's a big thing, you know. What I mean, you actually put a trust in someone, and then someone betrayed you. So like that, because if someone betrayed you, basically it's like you lose all those uh, time, all those uh, you know history you guys built together. Because why you there's no way you are gonna get that trust back. Like let me tell you right now, when people be like, oh yeah, like yeah, like um, you can't get that trust back. No, you cannot. Like it's gone, it's gone. You know what I mean? Like. You can't pull you can't put together a broken egg, you know what I mean? Like there's no way you can put together a broken egg. So if the egg is break, it's break, like that's it. Like you might pretend like, oh yeah, like I trust you, you're gonna be like deep deep down, like you really don't. So I don't think yeah, if you're um, I would say yeah. Betrayed, like it would be the most important thing to me. Wow, okay, this is an interesting question. He said, What's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show. My favorite TV show right now. Whoa, I would say Lost in Space. I don't know if you guys watch it, but you gotta watch it. It's really dope. It's really, really dope. So, yeah, you should go check it out. Like, I feel like it's a, 
it's pretty interesting like what's going on there i don't want to spoil it to people that watching it like a new season just come out season two so y'all better go check it out man it's really good um okay um let me find the question the next question the next question okay what's the this is an interesting question okay this uh i feel like this person thank you so much for this question <laughs> So he was like, what's the biggest lesson life has taught you? Biggest lesson life has taught me. Um, I would say the uh, biggest lesson life has taught me would be, uh, I would say, is it your thing? Two thing, you know? The first one is, uh, it's okay to sometimes to go back, to make a step backward. Like, I feel like, you know, like, as a human, sometimes when we go forward, we go forward, and we make one step backward, we think, uh, everything's just uh, you know broken or something like that but sometimes in order to go forward you have to make a step backward to be stronger to be twice stronger than you know you were before so you can have a clear path to go through so yeah I would say uh, that's to be the most important thing that that the most important thing that life uh, has told me um, the second one will be um, you know like life life is a bitch i'm sorry for my language but you have to be ready that no matter how rich you are or how poor you are life gonna keep hitting you so you gotta be strong enough to actually you know face it and then go through it because once you go through it again you'll be a better version of yourself so that that would be like a, one of the things that i think my i mean i think like is like biggest lessons for me so making step backward is not it's not bad you, you can make a step backward and it will give you a clear path to actually go forward you know what i mean and then be ready because the life is gonna keep hitting you it's never gonna stop so just keep those two things in, in your mind and you will be great so i don't know like it happened to me so many times and then um i learned my lessons from it so now like i'm like you know that like i'm like a better version of myself so i hope you guys do the same as well so um Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that does have some questions right here. Um, I don't think it's like, you know, I, I shouldn't answer those questions. I don't know. So let's speak, let's speak a better questions again right here. Okay. What random stranger has had a biggest impact in your life? That's, I don't know. Um... Random stranger. I would say, uh, yeah, I think I have one. I have one. It had a, it had a big impact in my life. I remember uh, when I was in middle school. I have a this kid. Um, I forget her name. Well, I didn't know forget her name. But I don't want to say her name right here. So what happened to her is like, well, uh, she's a she's a dope kid, man. She's she um, she have a diabetes. She had a few, uh, you know. She was sick. She was sick, but at the same time, she was like the smartest kid in the class. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not like that smart. You know what I mean? Compared to her, so like, I always, you know, like with the, you, know, like, do you, do you want to help me with this or like, you know? But yeah, like it just, uh, we just clicked this. You know, like she would become like one of my friends. Uh, Cause she, she told me, she told me, um, you know, like no matter what's going on with you, you gotta stay stronger and then keep going and then be positive. You know what I mean? I learned that from her. And then um, it helps. It helped me a lot, you know. Like till today, like no matter what's going on in my life, I always stay positive because one, the most, the more positive you stay, the more positive, positive thing will happen in your life. So I'll say, yeah, she taught me that part of a, you know, like lesson um, that I keep using till today. Um, yeah, and then uh, I think uh, it, we went, uh, we went on a break, and then we came back, and then yeah, she's. She passed away. It was it was a uh, yeah, it was pretty hard, you know. It was pretty hard, but at the end of the day, you know, like I feel like everything happened for a reason, and yeah, it was bad, but she was uh, she would play like a big impact in my life. Yes. All right. Uh, let's check the second. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how many questions we are right now, but um, okay. This is a good question. This is a good question. What achievement are you proud of? But most people will consider silly or weird. I think that usually happens, which is a uh, you know like me 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 doing YouTube channel or whatever. It's like me getting off my comfort zone again. You will see that I have an accent, 
but things like that. And I, I know there's like a lot of people out there, you know, have that fear, be like, oh no, I have an accent, so people won't like me, or people won't do this to me, or like things like that. I think, uh, you know what I mean, like if your heart told you to go do it, like go do it no matter what, you know what I mean? Like you're not doing it for nobody, like you're doing it because you love doing it or you actually enjoy doing it, you know? So uh, that would say, I would say being, you know, me, me starting YouTube will be uh, one of it that people people think, that, yeah, it's weird or be like, yo, like I don't think you can do it or things like that. But I'm like this type of person, I like proving people is wrong, you know what I mean? No matter what, like I'll keep going. like. I don't care how positive or how negative it's bringing, but I'll keep going because I enjoy doing it. So yeah, I would say I would say that that would be uh, the biggest achievement that I actually you know take a step to do. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty interesting, you know how how I was thinking and then now how where I am right now, you know with the 85, 86 subscriber, like I have like 86 people that actually watching my video, like I'm blessed. I don't know. I'm, I'm I love it, you know. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go to the next question. Next question, nurse question. Okay, yeah, this I like. I actually, like, I actually like these questions right here. This is the, it's it's pretty dope. They say, how quickly do you jump to conclusion about people? How quickly do you jump into conclusion about people? Hmm. <clears throat> I would say growing up, you know, like. Uh, I don't know, like my moms and my dads, you know, they always have a, you know, like arguments, things like that. So that alone, you know, it taught me a lot that no matter how bad this person is telling this short story, you have to wait to listen to the second version of the story or the second part of the story. You know what I mean? The all the other person perspective, all the personal opinion. You have to listen to the both part before you make your conclusion. You know what I mean? I feel like we live in a world today that people just jump right away into the story and then be like oh yeah this is what it is or this is what it is but i think you have to take the time to actually examine it, uh the story and then listen to the, the other portion of the story before you make your conclusion so that really really honestly it really really helped me a lot to uh you know not being mad or for nothing you know it helped me a lot to um you know keep my friends around or keep people that i care about around because of what like i don't want to just jump into the conclusion or be like oh yeah you did this okay so we done or things like that but it helped me to you know like understand those people and more and then so those people can trust me because they know it. once they tell me those story i won't just uh, judge them right away but i will try to come up with the opinion or come with a better conclusion you know by listening to the other version of the story i mean before i make my judgment so yeah, I would say, yeah, I, I think everybody should do that, like, no matter what, how bad the story is, make sure you listen to the story. It usually happens with the couples as well, you know? Like, when I was in a uh, relationship, that, that happened, you know, like, we both had, like, a, you know, different, you know, how was it, you know, communication uh, issues? But, yeah, at the end of the day, she understand that um, she was wrong, like, she should have talked to me, and I understand her part as well. So it was like that, you know, so like it just, you know, taught me a lot of uh, things. Uh, so where I am right now, like I'm a better version of myself and it, it, I'm not saying like I'm best, the best, the best, but like, you know, I'm still learning at the end of the day. But like, you know, like from where I started to where I am right now, it's like, you know, big gap of difference. So I like that. So yeah, I think everyone should do that. Okay. I think this, this should be the last question. Last question. This is actually an interesting question, okay? Listen to me right clearly. They say, are humans are fundamentally different than animals? If so, what makes us different? So basically, are we different than animals? Hmm. Um, I, in my opinion, like this is my point. This is my perspective, okay? I'm not saying, I feel like everyone has a different opinion when it comes to that. But uh, in my opinion, I will say uh, yes, we are different than an animal because, first of all, animal an animal you know can 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 create an iPhone or technology that we're using today. So we all have a different you know brain to do things. You know what I mean? So it's like two different things. They might be great at what they're doing, and then we are great at what we're doing as well. At the end of the day, it's just a two different brain slightly same up we have a little you know little things in common you know what i mean like yes we all have blood 
yes we all think we breathe we eat and things like that you know I mean, natural things but when it comes to like you know like explore or things like that i think we all different in that point so yes that's my questions and i think i answered those questions but yeah i actually enjoyed this doing this honestly like i love i love you know answer this type of question if you have any questions if you have any questions in your mind please don't hesitate to actually let me know in the comment section below because I, I will be answering questions like this at least i, I don't know i feel like I, I i can do that it's like you know once a week or twice a week it depends what you guys want me to do i will definitely do it so yeah go ahead and ask me any question that you want I will pick the best questions and then I will answer them so you get I mean if you have like a two or three questions put it put it in the comment section I promise you I'll definitely check it out and I'll answer them and then yeah or make sure go follow me on my Instagram I think my Instagram will be in the, in the description below check it out follow me there and ask questions there as well I can definitely answer it just like that I actually enjoyed this video if you do make sure you drop a like button on it <clears throat> And also, don't forget, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. We like what, 85 right now? We will full go. I think 86 actually. We can keep going, man. Let's keep going by the end of this month. I just want to say Merry Christmas to all of you. Or I'll say a happy holiday to every single one of you guys. And just like that, this video is over. And then I will see you guys next time. Peace out.